Australia uh, is exporting weapons uh, to human rights abuses, we assume that's usually what weapons are for. So just coming up here, we'll take you up to where Naya is. Uh, yesterday, the Prime Minister was at Rhine Metal. And what we know is that Rhine Metal are a large German company that is building uh, tanks uh, with a range of munitions. They're also building munitions with Naya. So they're guiding Naya to build weapons for export. Uh, that is their mandate. They have been paid by the government and they've been given special status by the government or they've demanded special status to assist Naya to find export markets via Rhine Metal's relationship. Most likely with countries like Indonesia, which is right this moment committing human rights abuses in West Papua. And these two companies go together. The tanks and the munitions, the armoured vehicles and the weapon systems. So what we know is that Naya is also involved with um, again, probably with the National Rifle Association. Uh, last year there was a, a scandal with Cutter's Party. They had donated to Cutter's Party through Cutter's daughter, Mrs. Nye. Um And what we know is that uh, they are also involved with producing uh, munitions for law enforcement. And we know what that means. Law enforcement is generally used with munitions against unarmed protesters, non-violent protesters, like us. So here we are at the new building for Naya. Naya's just been given 11 million more dollars to build another building. So this is free money that's either our GST or our Australian tax dollars. Have a look at what's possible here at a company like this that makes munitions. It's got a big steel gate. It's got a couple of steel gates actually, it's got another exit, a couple of entrances. It's quite a lot like the building that Ryan Metal has also been given uh, or has demanded from the government. Uh, Ryan Metal has come into, a, into Australia from Germany and is demanding money in order to uh, support Australian companies to find weapons export uh, arrangements. Uh, these companies are using our government, our tax money, to find exports into countries like uh, Indonesia, the Philippines. The uh, Philippines has also been run by a dictator. And we know that these dictators are using these munitions and these weapons in armed vehicles against the, the unarmed people in their own countries, against the West Papuans um, and in the Philippines against the southern Mindanao people. So I'd like to um, just remind you that no exports weapons human rights abuses. That's really what's going on here and that's being uh, uh, facilitated with your values, your tax dollars. That's what's happening with your, uh, your, your, your money. So, not much action here at, at Naya. As you can see, it's very quiet, but they've just been, um, they've just solicited $11 million from the government for a new multi-storey building. So, thanks for being with us. Um, and just remember, uh, uh, disarm Ryan Mental, disarm Naya, disarm Australia, and that we're here on the on the on the country of the Turrbal people. You know, this land was never ceded. It was highly militarised for a long time. It, it it was less militarised for a little while, and now it's remilitarising. And we need to be aware of what that means to First Nations people across the planet.